Got a minute? How about some history? On January 23rd and overnight into the 24th, the big guns here at Fort Brady opened up on the Confederate warships as they made their mad dash down to City Point. Most of the Union Navy was gone, reassigned to North Carolina. Only five warships remained to defend City Point. Should be a breeze because of all of these forts and big guns and obstacles and sticks and nets and exploding mines that stood in between the Confederate fleet and anywhere that they might do some damage. However, it has just rained a lot. The James River has raised up a bit, which might give those Confederate ships an edge to float over some of those obstacles that are in their path. At Trent's Reach, the Navy's meet. Four Confederate ships get stuck in the mud. One is destroyed by enemy fire. Another one is abandoned. All of them are damaged. What's left of the Confederate fleet slinks back up the James River past Fort Brady and back into Richmond. There they remain until the end of the war, which is about three months later when all of those ships end up at the bottom of the James River, destroyed by the Confederates as they're evacuating Richmond on April 2nd, 1865.